So Ross, what is carried interest? In simple terms, carry is a profit related return for investment managers in the private equity, venture capital and hedge fund arenas. So a pretty narrow set of people that this affects. Absolutely. Um, to the extent that the fund performs well enough, uh, that the hurdle rate, aka the preferred rate of return, typically 8 to 10% is breached. 80% of the profits typically will find its way to the external investors, with the remaining 20% finding its way to the investment managers in the form of carried interest. So it's really a kind of a return after the investors get their money, and that's why it gets a preferential rate. Absolutely, yes. And then, so you mentioned preferential rates. What are the preferential rates? Let's start with on the US tax side. Mm -hmm. So in the US, yes, there are preferential rates. And to the extent that the carry is held for at least 36 months, it will get that long-term capital gains treatment, taxed at 20% plus the 3.8% net investment income tax. On the other hand, to the extent that the carry is not held for at least 36 months, you have this concept of mid-term gains and therefore it's actually taxed the same as short-term capital gains, i.e. ordinary income at 37% plus 3.8% net investment income tax. Okay, so you actually do need to hold the investment for a decent amount of time to be able to access the preferred rate of return. Yes. So how does the investment manager know what their carry is? So carry is typically reported on a, on a Schedule K-1 on an annual basis and the carry is taxable as it is allocable to that investment manager as it accrues. Okay, so the partnership will provide the partner with the information to tell them how, what their carry is for the year. Yes, absolutely, yes. So carried interest in the UK, how is it taxed here? So the default position for a UK resident taxpayer who's subject to tax on their worldwide income and gains is that carry suffers a 28% capital gains tax rate. So that's slightly higher than the US? Yes, it is, yes, because in the US you've got 20% plus your 3.8% net investment income tax to the extent it's been held for at least 36 months. So you mentioned for someone taxed on a worldwide basis, what if you're an American who is on the remittance basis of taxation in the UK? It's, well, the treatment depends on a number of factors, um, whether, they, whether the carry comprises entirely of capital gains or is there any portion that's interest income, dividend income, trading profits. Does the individual need to remit a portion of that overseas monies to the UK? So we need to weigh up those factors and also, very importantly, how have their offshore accounts been structured in terms of receiving those monies? So that sounds pretty complicated. It seems like actually you should be really be taking advice on carried interest planning. Yeah, it's absolutely imperative that you have a US-UK tax professional um, who's fully cognizant of the potential pitfalls and considerations across both sides of the pond.